WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, most of the U.S. indices are trading to the downside. The only one that is not is the Dow Transports is up 12 points, so basically flat. Dow's off 89. S&P's down 13. NASDAQ 100 off 83. Russell's off 14. Semis are down 65. Gold's up 22 bucks. Silver up 55 cents. She's trading out at 24.87. Lights recruit up two and a half dollars. Trade at 81.57. Let's go spend some time and take a look at our nine panel market update charts. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. That's in your upper left-hand corner. What you'll see here is price right now is trading in between its daily profile, brand new profile. We looked at this yesterday. It did take hold overnight. So your key level of support out here is 46.35.50. There is a TD9 count top out there, and if price uh, gets below the uh, center of that box, 43.43, oops, sorry about that. Let me get my curse in the right spot. 46.66, I knew that wasn't right. Price gets below that odds favor, move to 46.35. Now, price isn't going to head down there unless we see that spot volatility get back above its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day exponential moving average is 1771. Price is trading at 1754. So it's a signal that we could see a potential bottom. And if we take a look at the NQ out here, we'll see that price is pulled back and tested the top of that daily profile that it formed below price. That is a bullish message. Now, if that spot volatility closes the day above the 50-day and you have the NQ get below the top of that profile, 16105, that's going to suggest lower price and then we would say the es mini would likely go target that 46.35 level the us dollar index she's trying to take out the resistance set up by it's a it's a roads mint indicator top and to close above 94 well i've got 94.57 but the yeah and the close above 94.57 would uh, signal that uh, price is going to continue to move higher we've got gold and silver moving higher and that's a beautiful thing remember if you take a look at gold and silver or many instruments out there, you want to take a look at how they're trading in all of the major currencies. What I can tell you is we're trading higher in gold in terms of euros, dollars, yen, and pounds. That means on everybody's screen, uh, there's momentum to the upside. If we take a look at uh, lights we crude, even though it's back a couple bucks, you have to realize there's a new profile and hasn't broken through support. Maybe it's headed to support. Where is support, Stevie? It's down at 80.24. Natural gas broke through support yesterday, but there's a TD9 breakout level. I don't call it that number is we'll take a look at that during the trader's ed show brand new profile in treasuries forming right now below price very similar to the nq mm, something to think about steve Rhodes with tmn stay tuned for the trader's ed show but if you're off to start your wednesday folks have a wonderful one and we'll see you again soon